Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays at Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg, and today Jake and Bernard are going to be making some rainbow tutti frutti flavored candy canes. And as a heads up, there's a Black Friday coupon that's good for the whole Thanksgiving weekend at the end of this video, so don't stop watching too soon. If you've been watching our videos, you know I love history. And the history that I'm going to do today is history in my backyard, because history is in everyone's backyard. My backyard in this case is Tallahassee, Florida, and the history I'm going to argue is Tallahassee is possibly the most influential Christmas city in North America. Yeah, something to think about. And we're going to do this over the course of the next few videos. In this video, we're going to connect Jingle Bells to Tallahassee, and you're going to get to hear Jingle Bells played on the musical instrument it was composed on. I decided to release this for Thanksgiving weekend because it is a Thanksgiving connection and a Christmas connection, and it's something everybody knows about. It's also a historical touchstone. If you listen to our podcast, I use the term touchstone a lot, and this is something that connects us to history. In this case, the thing it connects us to is Jingle Bells, and it takes place at St. John's Episcopal Church in downtown Tallahassee, established 1829, and it's a short walk from my house. So, in my backyard, I guess. So far, Bernard and Jake, well, they've poured the hot flavored sugar, they've let it cool, they've colored it, they've added citric acid to give it a little sour to make the fruit flavors pop, and now they're cutting it into the component colors. Red, yellow, blue, green, and, well, an amber that's going to need to become white. Jingle Bells was composed by James Lord Pierpont. He was a composer and a pianist and a keyboardist and an organist out of the Boston area. In about 1856, when his wife died, he moved to Savannah, Georgia for work. You see, his brother was a Unitarian minister in Savannah, and his brother hired him to be the church organist. And this was the only keyboard he had access to, the organ in that church. So while Jingle Bells was published in Boston through his publishing connections in Boston, he composed it on an organ in Savannah, Georgia, inspired by the sleigh races he saw in Boston. And he didn't compose it under the name Jingle Bells. He called it One Horse Open Sleigh. And while we think of it as a Christmas song, he wrote it for a Thanksgiving Mass. And that may make it the perfect song for a Thanksgiving weekend. As churches upgraded their organ, this organ got sold from one church to another around the Savannah area. And finally, a church uses it as part of a trade-in towards a bigger organ they're getting. And the repairman they trade it to brings it to Tallahassee to Florida State University, where he donates to the school. It's not working, and we think he was hoping to get the job to fix it up. But it stays in storage until it's found by Stephen Senholtz in the 80s. It's been down there for decades. And he decides, as part of his thesis, he's an organ major, to restore the organ. And he becomes a very good woodworker because of this. And this is how I get to meet him. About 30 years ago, I took a woodworking class from him. When he finishes restoring the organ, it gets set up at First Presbyterian Church in Tallahassee, and when they get a bigger organ, it goes to become the chapel organ at St. John's Episcopal Church, where it stands to this day. And this leads us to Michael Corzon, retired professor of organ at FSU, and the expert on this organ, and probably every other one around Tallahassee. It's interesting that although this was purchased originally by a church in Savannah, it's typical of instruments that middle class and upper class folks in England would have in their drawing room. In pencil, it says um, the names of the builders, uh, Hill and Davison. And so the only way we can date it is the fact that they were only partners for that one year, 1837 to 38. This 183-year-old organ was only 20 years old when One Horse Open Sleigh was composed. Candy canes are sort of the inverse of image candy. In image candy, we go for a cold center and we slowly build up hotter and hotter layers around the outside. We do this to preserve the inside shape. But on candy canes, the stripes are most important. So we build them carefully first, and then we wrap them around a warm center that allows us to stretch the candy out on our batch roller. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications. And if you want to try this candy for yourself, go to our website, www.pd.net. There's a link in the description. The way we look at Jingle Bells has also changed during the years. Like most music, 
Musicians have caused it to evolve. We're kind of fortunate in the way we can actually hear the way it used to be played. Jingle Bells became popular because of an Edison recording cylinder. It was originally recorded in 1889, and unfortunately that cylinder has been lost to time. I wanted to use the 1898 version, but YouTube seems to think somebody holds copyright on this incorrectly. So instead I'm going to play you a 1901 version of it, which is very similar. The 1889 version may have been the reason it's considered a Christmas song because it was actually on the first Christmas album. And it has another first. And this first has to do with the space program. In 1965, Wally Sriracha and Tom Stafford on the Gemini 6 spacecraft brought up a harmonica and some bells, a really tiny harmonica. And they played Jingle Bells. This makes Jingle Bells the first piece of music ever played in space. I know this next recording is in low quality, but it's what exists, so I ask you to bear with me for just a few moments. You can see the labor and the love that both Bernard and Jake put into making every one. And every one's a little different because they're handmade. And that makes it kind of cool. Now let's hear Michael Corazon performing Jingle Bells on the Jingle Bell organ. Sure. And I'll give it a little different sound. Um, come on. And now for our coupon. The code is BLACK2020, and it's good all Thanksgiving weekend 2020. For any order over $10 worth of candy, you'll get a free Black Friday Blackberry Black Candy Cane. In the description of this video, you'll find a bunch of links. You'll find a link to the Black Friday Black Candy Cane video we made a few years ago with the Cruise Shadows, as well as more information and videos about this organ. And remember, you can get this candy at www.pd.net. Check out our podcast, our Facebook page, our Instagram page, and our Twitter feed. If you come to Tallahassee, stop and visit us. We're right off I-10. And you can possibly see us make candy. We don't make candy all the time, but we make it a lot. And we'd love to see you. Thank you for watching, and we hope you've had a good Thanksgiving.